It's raining. Drop both effervescent pills into a cup of warm water. Once the pills are full dissolved, you'll have two minutes to consume the liquid before the chemical wears off. It's raining. <coughs> just started raining. I don't know how long these are going to take to dissolve, just so long as we drink the lot once it does, and, and then... I don't want to do this. We've got it in front of us, Jen. It's natural to get cold feet, but we're right at the end, nearly there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to just take a pill and move on from this. I, I don't want to forget. Jen. I don't want to do this. I don't know what else to do. What if I take this and I still remember? Well, that's tomorrow's issue right now. This is the only thing we've got what, to try and... What if this didn't exist? What if this was always supposed to happen and I was always supposed to leave you? I'm talking about fate, Jen. Leaving a relationship up to some cosmic decision that we have the power to bypass and decide for ourselves. Like how you decided to throw away our relationship and be with her. How did you know this pill existed? What? This wasn't something you just looked up. You knew instinctively about this when I found out. Did you cheat on me because you knew this existed and could wipe yourself clean of the act? I told you it was spur of the moment. I had no intention of... So that's all a relationship is worth to you? A moment? A passing moment that you waved at as it floated along by with me in three years of our lives? Think of it like spilling a drink. You didn't mean to do it, but we've got the, the means to erase the act as if it never happened. Yeah, you can erase it. But after all said and done, the cup remains empty. The cause may be erased, but the effect, it, it stays the same. You can always refill the cup. It won't be the same. It'll be cheapened less so than what it was. What the fuck do you want then, Jen? You do not get to talk to me like that! You do not have the fucking right! You're right, I'm sorry. What if it happens again? What if... What if this has happened before? Of course it hasn't happened before. But how would we know? How would I... How would you know? If this is meant to work as you say, then how would we know that this is the first time we've taken this? Because... We've got two minutes. You have two minutes, I'm not drinking it. You can erase what you did and think you're a good guy, but I'm not going to forget what a piece of shit you are. Jane. I'm not. How can you? You'll just do it again, knowing you can get away with it. I got a free pass to do what you like. Do you know how expensive these are? So that's why you won't do it again. Not because you love me. Or want me. But because it's too expensive. That's not what I'm saying. Stop twisting it. It sucks, doesn't it? You work with her. <laughs> you work late. She'll be around you. <laughs> One night, another moment. <laughs> what if she brings it up? What if it wasn't just a moment for her and she decides that she wants another taste? I've asked her not to. So she knows about this? Hmm. What a relief. She wouldn't want anything to do with me. She regrets it as much as I do. So she doesn't want anything to do with you? After your moment? I'm so glad you both regret your one night pity fuck. I feel fucking great about that, Andrew. Fucking great. Stop twisting everything I'm saying. Oh, stop twisting me. What do you want me to say? I don't know. I don't think there's anything that you can. So we just leave it? Jen, please. I, I don't know what I can say to convince you. 
these were really expensive. No, I'm not trying to equate a love to some monetary value, but the fact that I even got these should show you that I really want to move past this with you. I don't want to be with anyone else. I fucked up, but that's all it was, just a fuck up. And now I need you to help me fix this. Help us move past this, I love you. I love you. I don't know if I love you anymore. And I can't, I can't be with anyone that I don't know I love completely. Wait a second, Jen. Please, for all the, the love that you did have for me, can we just try and fix this? In order for this to work, you need to be thinking of only the memory as intensely as you can when you drink the lot. I love you. to bed. Yeah. Feel quite groggy as well. Got to go to work. Enjoy your day off. This day is coming to an end. Been knackered all day. Wine? You bought wine? Fantastic, can I have some? Yeah. smile on the love of my life's face this evening. Jen? Does that seem off to you? I don't know, what are you thinking? Mm, I can't. I think something seems... I don't have the words to describe it. Well, why don't I get you a top up? <laughs> Shit, sorry. I I'll, I'll get a refill for that.
good thing we don't have carpet. Jen, what? Don't, don't touch me, don't. What, what, what is it? When I woke up this morning, I don't know. Do you remember going to bed last night or, or anything from yesterday? Oh, really? No, but I, I don't really remember what I had for breakfast, so what is it? I woke up this morning and something didn't feel right. When you kissed me, I, I didn't feel anything. Nor did I feel anything when you returned. It's like, it's like there's something missing and when you came towards me there. What's missing? I don't think I love you anymore. You think what? Oh, I felt it. Or, or I haven't felt it since this morning. When I woke up, it was like it was like waking up to someone else entirely. And when you came back, I knew I knew deep down that there wasn't part of me wanting you to come back. And I, I don't love you anymore. There's no other way to say it. You're serious. Yes. Why? I don't know. That's what I'm freaking out about. I have a really sore feeling inside, and I. I can't express it in any other way than I don't love you. I think it has something to do with what happened last night. I mean, what happened last Who night? Who cares what happened last night? If you can't remember, why is it even an issue that you're bringing up? Because I know last night was important, but I can't remember. So you know last night was important, but you don't know why because of that you don't love me anymore? Is that it? Well, that's not what I'm saying. Then what the fuck are you trying to say, Jenny? You just stop a minute. Give me a second to think. Now you want to take a minute to think? Having just outright told me you don't love me anymore, now you want to take a second to think about it. Great work Jen, bang up job. Stop twisting what I'm saying. Just give me a minute to think about what it is I want to say. Do you know what I think? I think you're a, a cruel selfish wee bitch is what I think. And I didn't have to think too hard about why I wanted to say that to you right now. Andrew, please listen You don't home. love me anymore. So you're just going to leave this relationship? Us, the, the last three years of our life for what? A fucking feeling? Oh, it's just a Thought? Just a thought that required no thinking from you. But that's just to be expected, isn't it? Jen has a thought about how she feels today without giving it any attention whatsoever, has to declare it to the fucking world. I don't know what I fucking want, Andrew. You do not get to talk to me like that right now. You don't have the fucking right. You're right. I'm sorry. This is so fucked up. I know. I don't know. Stop that, stop that right fucking now. If you don't know, then shut your mouth until you do and don't dare hurt me with any of it. What do you want me to say? An apology. An apology for me working away for us to, what? Turn around and say it's not good enough. I've not said that what you do for us isn't good enough. Not so many words, no. But here's me, the dick, working his life away happily. I might add for you to wake up and I have a feeling that you, you can't quite put into words but you really need to tell me even though you haven't thought about it. Meanwhile, my feelings become fucking cannon fodder to your utter lack of empathy and stupidity. Andrew, please listen to me. Nah, I think I'm done listening to you for tonight. So what? Me working hours on end to support you, us, our future, past, present, mortgage, isn't good enough. Is it someone else? Someone else you're filling your boredom days with? Andrew, I would never cheat on you. And what the fuck is it? Huh? What the fuck is it? What the fuck is so imperfect about our relationship that you've got the fucking nerve to sit there and say that to me? Andrew, you're just kidding me. Please, Molly, don't get so worked up. Do you know how many times I could have cheated on you? And didn't. Because I, I thought of you, they were working towards something. How I could have fucked off and left you in the streets so or fuck off back to where you came from. Up on the streets. Don't fucking interrupt me, don't you dare fucking interrupt me. Who the fuck do you think you are, you stupid little cunt? <laughs> Don't be sorry. Just don't leave me for no reason. Is it me? No, love, I know. If I fucked up and did something, then fine, but... 
Don't leave me in the dark not knowing why you're gone. I don't want you to be with someone who doesn't know they love you completely. Don't decide for me, please. What did I do? What did I do? I can do better. You didn't do anything, lovely. Don't leave me over there, please. Please don't leave me. I won't. Promise me. Promise me you won't leave me. Promise me. I promise. Why don't I get us a couple of glasses? Okay, and we can talk about this until it's fixed. Why, why don't you try telling me exactly how it is that you feel, or how do you feel? What is it? It's raining. <laughs> 